It was 98 years ago tonight in Camden, New Jersey, that a drive-in theater was packed with people in cars to watch a movie. With that, a craze was born, but it didn't last. And now today, it's movie theaters that are struggling. As CBS's Lilia Luciano reports, it will take more than just a sequel to survive. Hollywood is breathing a huge sigh of relief as millions of Americans return to movies on big screens. It's a great feeling to be a see movies on the big screen again. I'm crewing. Theaters, many on life support because of the pandemic, are now getting a much needed infusion of customers and cash. Memorial Day weekend was a big hit at the box office, and that is new for all of us. What did that success mean for the movie industry? Basically everything. Powered by A Quiet Place 2, Memorial Day weekend set a pandemic record at the box office, taking in nearly $100 million, a strong showing considering a quarter of all theaters remain closed. Last year, the total take, a paltry 840000 Film critic and entertainment journalist Scott Mann says the industry has to lure back audiences who are comfortable streaming at home. The first challenge is to get more people to come back. The second challenge is to have all these films that have been sort of waiting in the pipeline to come out at the right time so they can start to make back the kind of money to justify their $200 million budgets. If we don't do this, there will be nothing left to save. The latest James Bond film, just one of several Hollywood blockbusters on hold. 007 now set for release in October. Marvel's Black Widow in July. We have unfinished business. And Top Gun Maverick flies again in November. But stars and superheroes can't save some movie houses. Pacific theaters and Arclight cinemas with 300 screens in California alone have permanently closed. Another heartbreaking blow, the iconic Cinerama Dome, boarded up and out of business. What does the Cinerama Dome mean to Hollywood? The Arclight Hollywood is the center of the movie-going universe. The fact that the Arclight was not going to reopen was a crushing disappointment. Hollywood is hopeful, with theaters like this one welcoming back moviegoers. More films will open on Friday, and the first summer blockbuster, Fast and Furious 9, is set to race into theaters later this month. Lilia Luciano, CBS News, Los Angeles. Can't wait.